Let me talk to you today about the biggest challenge I have in my life. John Maxwell here. Welcome to Minute with Maxwell. The biggest challenge I have in my life is creating balance. I have fought this battle my entire life. And when I talk to other leaders, I find that they basically have to fight that very same balance. That battle of trying to balance all the things in your life so that somehow there's a, a sense of life and a sense of rhythm that allows you to feel that you're just kind of totally whole and integrated. I've come to the conclusion, you may not agree with this. In fact, I love this to be discussions. In fact, there are times on Minute with Maxwell, I wish you and I could just talk. Wouldn't that be fun? You may not agree with this, but let me just share with you what I have learned and what I think. I don't think there's such a thing as balance. I, I just don't. I've talked to enough people to believe that life keeps you out of balance because life is uneven, life is unfair, life is surprising, life is fleeting. There, there's nothing about life that's predictable except that the sun will rise and the sun will set. And in between those times, it can be quite different and quite chaotic. And so I think when we say, I, I'm going to be balanced, you could only be balanced in an environment and an atmosphere that allows you to be balanced, in, in, an, in an environment and atmosphere that's the same and that's predictable. And I just don't think life is predictable. I was just uh, involved in a very, very difficult time over the Christmas season. I had a friend of mine whose daughter committed suicide. And I can remember spending time with them. And they said, one moment, John, we're having Christmas dinner and we're laughing and raising glasses, getting ready for a new year. And the next moment we find that our daughter is dead. There's no balance in life. Life is extremely uneven and unfair. So I think that when I try to get everything even keel, I'm just working against the odds and swimming against the, uh, the tide. I think we need to think of seasons in our life, not balance. And I, what I mean by seasons is that we have these times where what the times call for us to do is very intense. For example, all of a sudden, all of the holiday and the beginning year celebrations this family is going to do, they're all thrown out the window. Now they've got to grieve and come together and be strong and, 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 and be there in community for each other as a family. It's a season. Hopefully after a, a period of time that season passes and they can now begin to do something a little different. They can have a, a change of pace and have some hope and some joy and some perhaps peace in their life. What I'm saying to you is I get into my seasons of work. I'm, I'm in a writing season right now, and to be honest with you, I'm up every morning at 5 o'clock. I've been writing sometimes up to 14 hours a day. It's a season. And when I'm in one of those seasons, I have a phrase that I say to myself often, and, and the, the phrase is, this too shall pass. In fact, I'm just about through with my writing season. By the end of this month, I will have finished the book, the manuscript will be done, tucked away, and, and I won't be writing to that long every day. I write every day, but I won't be writing 8, 12, 14 hours a day. I'll be in there for a season. In fact, I, I'm going to go into a season of replenishing. When I'm in my writing season, I don't do a lot of reading because I need the time to write. And, and I can hardly wait because I've got my stack of books, the things that I, I can hardly wait to pick up. And there's a book called Eyewitness to Power. I can hardly wait to get into that book. But, but I'm not in it yet because I, I'm, I'm in my season of writing, but I'm going to go into my season of reading. Well, we have seasons with, with, with for our family. We have seasons for our personal growth. And when I say seasons, I'm not talking about months. It may, it may be a, a day or two. And this is my season right here. So I'm not defining seasons as a long period of time. I'm just defining season as a definite period of time. And what I want you to understand is you've got to understand the seasons. Now, one word of caution for me, because this is a battle that I've constantly had to fight my entire life. When a season goes too long, it's no longer a season. 
it's a habit. And now I've got to deal with another issue, and that is, am I unwilling to move from one season to another? Or am I more comfortable in some seasons than I am of others? So I've got to deal with those issues because it's not healthy to prolong a season and not have the balanced life that you really want to have. But remember this, whatever season you're in, this too shall pass. Be ready to go to something new. I had a great mentor friend of mine, I call him affectionately E.T., who said, John, never leave something, always go to something. When I think of seasons, that's what I'm always doing. I'm going to the next season of my life, which is going to give me another part of the balanced life that I really need. Hope that's been helpful to you. It certainly has given you something to think about, hasn't it? John's my name. I'm glad you're with me today on Minute with Maxwell.